Hey guys, uh, thanks for tuning in again. Welcome back to the Alan Phillips channel. Uh, in this episode, we're gonna be working on the 7.3 Power Stroke again. Um, we're gonna be changing out our fuel pressure spring in the fuel bowl with this 8060 Industries uh, replacement. Um, a lot of guys online are having good luck with this one. Uh, it's fairly easy. Uh, the reason why we wanna look at replacing this, obviously this truck is 25 years old. I'm assuming it has the original uh, fuel pressure spring in there. Um, over the course of its life, uh, those will lose the holding pressure that they originally had from the factory. Um, and then you can't maintain as much fuel pressure at your injector as you would like or the truck is actually needing. Um, so some of the stats here, the idle fuel pressure um, is at 50 to 55, sorry, 60 to 80 PSI in a 7.3 and depending on how long it's been in there um, this can deteriorate over time and produce about 39 psi at wide open throttle so uh, with this replacement we'll be able to hold that pressure longer at uh, wide open throttle keep it above 50 uh, and that way hopefully increase the longevity of our injector so um, it's, like i said it's a fairly simple replacement uh, the area we're looking at is right underneath your trim cover on top of the motor here. Uh, so you got your two 13 millimeter um, decorative nuts. I've already pre-removed those. And obviously your fuel bowl here right in the center. We're looking at this area right on top here uh, with this uh, little housing. Um, loosen these two T27 Torx bits. Um, we won't have to disconnect this fuel line. We'll just leave that on. We'll just pull this block away. And then the spring is right inside there. So we'll switch that out, uh, push it back on, let it prime again. And then uh, we should be able to pop this thing off. So obviously the key injection, the key objective of this is to try to replace parts that can keep this truck running as long as possible. Um, I don't really feel like doing injectors if I can avoid it uh, and if this $25 spring will give me a little bit more longevity I'm all for it so uh, let's get in there let me put this back in the bag so we don't lose it and we'll show you switching this thing out that's your yellow uh, pet cock right there you just rotate it 90 uh, it's basically left to right you just flip it out to the back that'll let the fuel bowl drain it So basically what I got is my extended bit T27 there into a quarter inch uh, 12 point um, socket. And then I'm on a, a 3 8 drive ratchet with a three inch extension so I can get kind of straight in here, reach it from a little bit of a distance. screw it's about three quarters inch long or so okay make sure you don't drop your screws all right so there's what we got there's the spring inside there should be able to pull this back just enough so that we can get that spring out of there. Obviously, we don't want to drop that green um, O-ring. Get some pliers in here. a little uh, like a kind of a seat that that spring sits in just kind of work it out 
out slow. Get that yellow piece in there. There it is. So there's our old spring. I compare it to the new one. It does seem a little bit, a little less firm, if you will. And it's not much. It's it's also shorter too. It's about there's the other one. We'll line them up as best they can. You can see it's a little bit shorter too. So the new one's obviously to your left, old one on the right. So let's get this back in there. This is probably the hardest part, <laughs> getting the spring back started. I'm trying to give you guys a good view, but you're in my way. Okay. All right, I want to try and show you guys this. I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up, but inside this, there's a little kind of an alignment set up with those little plastic um, webs, I guess like strengthening webs inside that piece. So we wanna make sure that our spring is obviously positioned, you know, not cattywampus like it is now. We wanna get that guy right in the middle there. Just like that. It's hard to see at that angle. But you'll you'll notice it when you stick your melon in there. So just centered up like that. Then we gotta make sure we're all the way in over here on this side. some tension on this obviously when we put it back together so it kind of makes you think that you know that spring's really small maybe it's in there crooked but as long as it's sitting in that center of that plastic um, those reinforcement webs you'll be all right it's got a little bit of room in there stuck to the fuel bowl but the actual alignment for it is on here inside that okay we'll snug her down here a bit don't have to go crazy I think it's probably some small like 50 inch pounds or something. You're good. All right, all we gotta do now is start it up. Make sure everything's not leaking. You guys can stay out here and keep an eye on it for me. See if we got any leaks.
right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, if you found any value in this content, um, we really appreciate it if you support the channel by hitting that like button. And if you want to see more 7.3 liter content, I got a bunch of stuff to do to this thing on um, the near future. I actually have some uh, parts on order uh, that I'm going to make a video for here in the next week or so. Um, ICP valve I want to replace. Uh, that one's got a little bit of oil leak um, that I'd like to get in front of. Um, pedestal, uh, turbo pedestal steels. I noticed there's a leak at the top uh, right under the turbo. I got a set of uh, O-rings coming in for that. So we'll get that buttoned up. Uh, that'll probably be a longer video. And then after I do that, I got to do a, a full oil change on this. So um, more videos of the truck coming here in the near future. Uh, just trying to keep this this old girl running. She's clean, as you guys can see. The engine bay for three hundred thousand. It's it's in pretty good shape. So I'd like to keep it running as long as possible. Thanks for the support. We'll see you on the next one.